Mr. Yerk? Yo. What's up? Uh, you want you want to go, Matt? <laughs> um, uh, I think they're both very strong and very cool, and I think they'd ultimately shake hands and go, "You know what? You were worth my time. You were a good fight. Let's go grab a bite to eat." And that's how their fight went. I, just, I don't know. Do I choose the guy who kicked the guy to the moon? Or do I choose the guy who threw a punch so hard he raised the continent? No, I say it probably the continent guy. Based on how this fight has gone, just in terms of what Saitama pulled to tame Garo, I would definitely have to go with Boros in this. And mind you, I was someone who was see, looking at Garo as like this bottomless potential, and maybe he still is. But again, I'm just going by what what the effort I feel Saitama displayed um, in this fight versus the Boros fight. I definitely feel like the Boros fight he took more serious than the Garo fight. Obviously, it's Saitama, so he's never going to be, he's never going to, you know, uh, use his full strength or anything like that. At least, not yet, you know. But, yeah, I just, that's that's how I feel. I'm, I'm, I'm rolling with Boros. My, my, uh, my argument against that would be, like, Boros' whole thing was how he wanted to have a satisfying battle, and Saitama understood that. That's kind of why Saitama was like, like, yeah, this is my final move. And like, he really tried to like make Boros feel like that he went all out as well. And Boros knew at the end of that. So I get why you'd say Boros still. Like, I think it's a very close battle. Uh, but like, I think, but like Boros said at the end as well, like, you, you didn't really try against me. You know, I threw everything at you. You still have plenty to spare. Yeah, that's a good argument because I do think Saitama was accommodating him in that um, and wanting to give him a fight that he felt was worthwhile. 
as how he approached this fight with Garo. He's never seen him as a monster. So in that way, that's... I have to ask him, why are we talking about Boros so much? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, sure. Okay. I mean, what, just, it's Boros, or? Oh, okay, gotcha. No, I mean, I'm not saying, like I said, the, the thing I'm never going to say is, like, I'm never, it's it's a close match. I don't, like, if someone says to me, no, listen, Boros is stronger, I'm not going to go, that's our rate, how dare, like, <laughs> it's, it's fine. Like, it's it's okay. If you think Boros is stronger, I get it. I I fully get it. It's just, in my head, like, Yes, kick inside Summer to the Moon's great. And like, whilst Gar- it's not like Goro actually fully 
le- it's not like he lifted the continent on his own. If he lifted the continent on his own, then I'm like, yeah, of course, go. Like, no question. But, like, the fact that his punch or, like, his big attack had enough force to do something very similar to, like, Boris's big attack, which Boris's big attack was about wiping away a continent, like, side to um, the collapse of Star of Roaring Cannon. I mean, well, like, the surface of the Earth, it's, I mean, the continent covers the surface of the Earth, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Um, but then, like, in comparison, Garo's is, like, about raising this. Um, so yeah, I if you if you prefer Boros, that's fine. But I I got to stick with Gara. I definitely think that whole moment was to bring about a discussion discussion just like this. Like, it, it, I I definitely think it was meant to be comparable. Mm-hmm. Because like there hasn't been a villain. We all know like how strong the villains are. There's never been one of Boros's level. So just to have someone show up and do a big feat, it's obviously just makes everyone go like. Oh, that's what, Bo- like, is this Boros level? Like, Mm -hmm. Hmm. I think she could have but whether she would survive or not then that's when it starts to get shaky because I I don't I don't know about that because when it comes to espers from what I gather a lot of their power is based on their emotional states. So if Tasumaki felt that she was the last line of hope and that only she can do something, I think it's going to draw out a lot more power than we've ever seen out of her to the point to where she could stop one of these uh, earth shattering attacks. But whether or not she would continue on after doing something like that, probably not. Like, I think it's, that's also where, like, matchups come into it. Because in my head, like, like if Boris was to fire, like, one of his beams at her, yeah, she could deal with that, no problem. But how well would she do against, like, a meteoric burst where, like, a, someone moving so fast and hitting so hard, like, is that, like, too fast for her to react at that point? Or that's kind of where, like, I'm torn on that.
what what do you think about because i just thought about this what do you think if garo was kind of uninvolved in the story in a way that he just did a lot of training so that he could uh get to saitama's level or uh as he said in the chapter or that was a plot point in the chapter hone his fist enough to where it could touch god I think that's a way that you could have him in a story and kind of be uninvolved with current events, but still have him lingering as a future plot point so that. Because I, I get what you're saying to have someone that strong. It's really hard to keep him in a story if he's not going to uh, be in one area of a villain or a hero. Um, Cause then he's just too, he's just too big of a wild card. Um, but I think that's one way you could do it. I mean, to be fair as well, we've literally just got a whole new continent of the world. Like, if Garo wanted to explore, if Garo was literally like, I maybe like after this chapter, you know, like he's had his whole viewpoint kind of shattered about being this unconquerable evil. He can't conquer Saitama. So after whatever him and Saitama talk about, maybe he's going to do like some soul searching or something. And even that would be like, and literally, you can send him off the other side of the planet, and he can do whatever he wants, and he can come back at any point where we want to have him as like a big surprise. The, and you know what? <laughs> I think that would be good too, just because I know this is jumping ahead, but <clears throat> when Blasting the Boys showed up in this chapter, I was very concerned because I'm thinking, bro, <laughs> this is going to make this arc too long if they get really involved in this right now i don't know what role they will play exactly but this arc is already very long if we add blasting them boys to the fray no but hearing you say uh it's a possibility that garo might you know uh go to the different side of the world like that that would that would kind of tie things together to where they don't overstay their welcome while still giving Garo purpose. I wrote an alien hunter. Let's do it.
those guys in particular, I don't see anything coming to fruition when it comes to like a big power increase. I think you need heroes like this who do work just rescuing civilians and things things of that nature. Not to say that um other stronger heroes are too good for it or they can't do it. It's just that a lot of the times they're going to be occupied taking on uh big threats. So some of this lesser work needs to go to heroes of a lower class. Not to say that they will always be regulated to that or they can't have something going forward in the story. It's just that the or not 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 Moomin Rider. Moomin Rider is a little different, but the the other two characters, I just I, I can't see it. I mean, their growth, like I think Satsuki said it real. They're kind of there to ground, I guess, the world of One Punch Man. So, like, while we've got like Saitama and Garo like destroying mountains with their fists, you've got like other heroes just like doing regular work, just trying to get these guys to safety. Um, like as for Snack and Max in particular, like their whole thing is just kind of—it's more like background stuff, but like it's not like goals we have to necessarily have like focus chaps where like their main characters, but like to check on them every now and again because we know like Snack's trying to find his way back as a hero, and like Max wants to defeat a demon class opponent on his own. Um, so it's like good characters to try and like go back to every now and again. If you remember that, then you're like, oh wow, what, what's going on with them? But it's not ones we need to focus on. Uh, the final design. Let me look at this joint again. Oh, he he lost me with the jet. He lost me with the jet. The design is very monster, but I mean, like I, I, f I fuck with the design. I I already said it before. I prefer like the more humanoid and uh, slimmed down version. But in terms of what it's supposed to mean for him looking more monstrous i think that point came across well eight yeah that's what i'm talking about the jet bro <laughs> i wasn't fucking with the jet man Did you guys notice that the more he transformed, the more he started to resemble Orochi a bit? No, I didn't. Well, I mean, like, it's just, like, it's not much, but, like, having the flames come off him, so, like, that panel where he grows more hands, it's stuff like that. It's, like, more monsterization. I think Murata just likes Jets at the moment. Because like he did the same thing with Psychos and now he's getting to Garo as well. Man, he loved Jets, I guess. Just likes vehicles, doesn't he? Which one? Penguin. So the penguin? <laughs> nah. Don't make me say it, Grim. I say it every time we talk about the penguin. Who did the most damage to Brave Giant?
bro. You gotta you gotta stop it, man. Keep that shit in your head. It, it sounds like the kind of stuff I make up when I'm like six. Yeah, my stream like, power attack. Yeah. It's like this is my power attack. Oh. Uh, I'm telling you, this shit came straight out of a Budokai Tenkaichi. One of the <laughs> one of the lesser characters attacked, bro. King Vegeta. Who, like, who, like who's who, like they because the, 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 this is really all topic but Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 a lot of people praise it because of his roster and it, it's cool to see those characters man you got the freezer yeah. soldier you got queen yeah, but, but yeah but the problem is I feel that they made they made the roster real big but they didn't have any ideas for the attacks because it's like, yo, uh, okay, what are we supposed to do with this random ass motherfucker? Okay, just give him high kick attack. Full power in his ass. Yeah, it was just so lame. <laughs> it made you not care about those characters because it's like, yo, okay, I get to see them in a game, but they don't actually do anything. I think, I think so. Wasn't it just like, it'd be like the Dragon Ball, like teleport or like super speed? Yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Damn. That's literally, that's, I'm pretty sure that's how I reacted. Damn. He sunk a mountain. Like, the way that mountain bends when it's, it's power attack, that's not that's not how rock bends, you know? Like, I mean, for scale, I mean, I never really thought about the scaling, I guess, to have power scaling. Um, but, like, the, the size of them compared to the mountain, to turn that thing, like, inside out, basically, and the force to go through the planet... Is it say what I really want to know is what was that plane doing on the other side of the planet on its own like that? Yeah, but like the rest of the continents all together, all the other places are together in one supercontinent. What are they do on the other side of the ocean? Well, we know what there is now, but. You can, but if I'm if I'm like in City Z and I need to get to like the other side, I don't know what the other side city is. Like I would rather just take the plane across the continent rather than loop all the way around the globe.
Oh my god. No, that that platinum cuz to to this day I'm still in disbelief that he lost like that. Because it was just it was such an anticlimactic way to get rid of that character and we've already discussed this before and I think most of us agreed that he felt much more threatening as Black Spurn than he did in any other of those transformations. He could have just done with more time in the other two forms. Like, as good as Black Spurn was, just, like, shrink down a bit of the Black Spurn time, make Golden Spurn a bigger threat, and then so when Platinum happened, it was just even worse. <laughs> Is that the community? And let let, let me I want to add this too. I think what what really hurts uh Tatsumaki in the debate versus her versus Garo, um, is that Garo could probably give out one of these attacks, and it's not like it, it takes out... I'm, I'm not saying it doesn't... It's he, he can replicate these attacks many times over, but Tatsumaki's attacks, when she lets off a big attack like that, it's killing her. The same can't be said for Garo when he throws out one of these attacks. Cause he's just he's literally just sitting with Saitama at the end of the chapter chilling. Like he's not he's not bleeding, he's not unconscious or anything like that. I think that that really hurts. I guess that's just the whole martial arts versus uh Esper thing. Just sorry, I just want to say quickly, Grim. On like that hidden continent, do you remember what's supposed to be there? The sunken continent. No, well, wasn't that where they made the blades, the son of the moon blade? Yeah, that was in the back, right? That was uh, forget his name, Kaz Swordsman, the guy who thought he was Atomics Master. Wait, 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 who? Nagiri? Narinki? Nichi yeah, Nichirin. Nichirin, that's it, yeah. When he got the Sunblade. Can't remember what chapter that is, but...
So I could have sworn there was something about like the sunken continent or something. I can misremember. Maybe I'm making some, oh. maybe I'm getting confused. I don't know. Right, carry on. I'm, I'm going to look for this. Carry on. No, I, I definitely need like a little break arc after this. This arc has been too long to just go go right back into another like action oriented one. Like, bro, like let let's 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 restock on some groceries, bro. Let's go build up some houses. We need to chill. I think we might be getting into some political political uh, things. Sorry, got it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in the chat. Okay. I th I think it might go in the direction of um like us focus on the relationship between heroes and the public itself because a lot of this stuff has been broadcast and it's a big 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 threat that has been put in the forefront because even though we had the whole Boros and the Boros ship thing um the public didn't know about like the threat of boros himself they were they were fortunate enough to um not know of that but everything else that's been going on is like bro people have been witnessing so much that i think you just have to have an art like focus on how people uh deal with public relations and, and things of that nature so um yeah we may be getting into um, like what makes a hero, like reevaluating everybody's motivations, um, checking in with the people to see how they feel about the heroes and, and whatnot, stuff like that. I think there's a lot of ways they could go. So if we want to explore this with a continent, we can. I think Satsuki's right. They've set this up. Like if they want to explore more about like the hero organization, because Child Emperor knows now about like the darker side of the hero association. Um, I mean, obviously, like, I think so. I think so. Like, there's going to be big changes. Like, Bang is looking at retiring, um, which is a big thing. I think definitely the public opinion. Why? Wow. We like Bang. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, I guess it's just about which way they... They've got plenty of options to take it. Uh, I don't read. And then, of course, everything that's going on with, like, Blast and God, too. But Maybe that won't be just yet. What do you mean, blah, 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 blah? Certain character shows back up. We all love him. Gives him a Whoa. B. Hold on. That's right. The Hold Beast on. King. The Beast King is back to the House of Evolution. <laughs> the Lion himself. Look, as I just realized, the there's only been three characters who have been had to taken down by consecutive normal punches. One was Boros, one was Gartaro, and the other was the Beast King, okay? He's back. I don't know. Mate. 
Mm, that is yeah. Bob. <laughs> that is Boros. He knows that Saitama. He's like, that's my guy. That's my guy. Yeah, that's not Boros, man. It's Boris. We all know it's Boris. Boris. Yeah, uh, that's not Boros. Get that shit out of here, man. <laughs> The Beast King, yeah. Beast King destroyed the universe. No, it's not. That's maths. The dominator of the universe. It's not even Blast allies anymore. It's Boros' allies. Okay. Okay. Boros and his boys, Blast and Beast King and uh, Elf Girl. That is not, that is Noros. That is not Boros. It's Noros. It's Norris. I, I mean, is it weird? Maybe not, because it could probably be explained as. <laughs> <laughs> and this is low key racist. This is like a racist thing to say. It's just like, yo, he he rolling with the good ones. Like all the monsters are bad, but he just he like he like my no. Nah, that's how he think. He like I'm rolling with the the, the you know they good monsters. That that might be how it is. Nope. And, and, and for, for 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 all my people of color, man, don't let nobody say that to you, bro. That is that's an insult. Is that that's an insult. Thinks. He's like, I'm not racist. I'm friends with monsters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I could definitely see him saying that. Silhouette. <laughs> Silhouettes do be looking tough, though. They can do, but it's just Boris's head moving. It's not like Saitama <laughs> standing against the mountain. Sorry. Beast King? Shout out to her, man. Shout out to her. She in a, just a quick question. She ain't of a psychic, do you think? Nigga, what? Oh, no. <laughs> what? That, that was such, mate. That was the nah. biggest joke. I, mate, you should go to the Olympics because your jumping skills, mate, are incredible. No. I was, I was trying to see like what she was looking at. It's trying like to see water, if water, so like like a divination thing. Yeah, that's all I was thinking. Uh, she might be. I mean, like that. That's not a bad guess, just based on that alone. 
but we've seen psychics have di- varying abilities so it's not like we, we would get something redundant as far as what she would be capable of like she could just be someone that has something like uh clairvoyance or actually okay okay yeah yeah so th- something like that Wow. Okay. What are you talking? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way you you was so focused on the titties. You all right? You got it. Right. That's key. I want to. In between the bowl of water was her boobs and then boros. How's he gonna focus on the bowl of water? <laughs> okay. Hit it in plain sight. <laughs> I see it. Hell no. I mean, there's, there's all, there's, no. I mean, there's a lot of questions, but. <clears throat> But <laughs> when was the last time you saw uh, Shiba Bawa? None, no. Um, at least I can't think of any. No, no other fortune tellers. I'm cooked. I I, I want to hear what Matt said. I have my own opinion on it, but honestly, I'm a little confused. I want to hear what Matt says first. I'm not sure. Think off the top of it, because as you said, like he's been chasing them for years. Maybe like because we know he can't just interact with like people. We we know we just can't break out. He's got to have some kind of like he like God has never like fully escaped like on his own. He's always had like he's always like taught to people like whether it was Tatsumaki or homeless emperor but he's also like you said these cubes so maybe what if there's like a a dimensional seal maybe like that's how he gets the cubes out so maybe like like that's his like opportunity he can't get out himself but at the very least he can get like a bit of himself out there in the cubes and like try and get people to make a fervent wish to try and get himself out maybe it's off the top of my head so i don't know let's see my whole thought on it is so different. Um, I feel like <clears throat> the dimensional seal is like a pathway to get in, into uh, 
this other dimension. And him breaking that is just going to like blur the borders or like completely remove it at at, at all. Which uh, we know, at least in Blast's world, like they're waging wars and whatnot. So something like that would would make probably like link those two worlds and then bring upon war on Earth as we know it. Uh yeah, that's all I got, man. I'm I am cooked. Got any theories at all or any just off the top of your head ideas? They've they've got to be talking about God on that one only because like the way they're talking is they have like no idea the fight between Gara and Saitama is happening like their whole thing is you know like they're they're talking about how the plates are moving around and you know everyone's like ah there's no way humans could do something like that it's just got to be some anomaly that's happened and it's caused it yeah because when he says that bastard that refers to something someone specific. And they wouldn't know who that specific person is, uh, cause like you said, they don't they don't even know what's causing the bulge. Um, me being impressed by Saitama, no, <laughs> I'm not impressed. Uh, but that, but that just goes goes to show you there's like no gap in between um what I believe Saitama could do and um what he's shown, because I think that's where you you get impressed at. So everything he's done in this fight, I've pretty much expected. I expected it to be one sided. It was just a matter of how much power was Garo going to draw out of Saitama which was decent enough it was still fun um so I guess for your other question uh, if I was like disappointed by this fight or underwhelmed I think so and I, and I don't really know exactly what I expected from this fight but I definitely didn't see it going the way it did at the end of the chapter um, all I knew for sure was that Gar was going to lose this fight and that he would probably get more monstrous, but 
I did le I did leave the fight if it is over, in which it does seem like it's over. I did leave it one and more. Yeah, I mean, if I'm impressed by Saitama, kind of. I mean, not in terms of like the physical stuff because it's just it's what Saitama does. Like we, like Sasuke said, it was going to be one sided. Like there's cool moments, obviously, like how obviously you've got like Garo using his extreme power attack to destroy like a mountain, whereas Saitama's just regular punch setting through several mountains. You know, it's cool stuff like that. But if there's anything I'm impressed with by him is like just like him talking a bit more. So what I mean is like instead of like him letting Garo be like this, is how I wanted to die is like stop it. Like let's look, don't stop it. Like, let's talk for a minute. I I like that Saitama. It's he just kind of tries to reason. When we talked about this a bit last time, but some of the best moments of Saitama is when he's just kind of talking to people and trying to actually understand them a bit more. Uh, I mean, like, I definitely didn't see the fight ending this way. I'm uh, very. I don't know how. I think most people weren't too happy about the ending. I I'm actually very excited for the next bit, so we'll get a really good conversation. Uh, but as for the hype, I guess because it's been like seven years, really seven eight years, we've been building up this big final fight between Saitama and Garo, and maybe our expectations were too high, or maybe Murata and One actually didn't like deliver on it. I don't really know, because I I there's a part that's like I wish there was still a bit more, like Satsuki said, but. If there is any chance of another fight, it's just about like that scene of them at the table. Like God is just watching this happen. So if there's any chance of this fight continuing, I think it's down to God. Yeah, that that, that part of the chat that made me laugh when I know that he was watching them. He was watching like y'all boys talk about me. He was like, checking in, <laughs> gotta check in. That is exactly what I said, 100%. Word for word, Gar God's going to take over and Saitama's going to have to kill him. That'll be the end of Garo. Garo's going to die in the next two chapters. Oh. Uh... Yeah, that's it, yeah. I guess I couldn't save him. Oh, well, back to the shopping. Absolutely. He's going to go, Tario, sorry, mate. He was a, a monster. He's dead. Move on. Get grow up, kid. That's Royal Ripper, I guess. You were trying to stick up for him last podcast. What are you on about? <laughs> you called him the innocent Royal Ripper. Yeah, we don't know yeah, that.
I feel like that shows you because we were talking about Garo's motivations and whether or not they were valid and uh, whatnot. I think that just like that dialogue shows you that that goal wasn't even necessarily a goal for him. I think it was just a drive, and it's a difference between it's a difference between the drive is like a process, right? It it, it it's something that keeps going and keeps going. It doesn't really have an end to it. I don't even think Garo knew what he was doing with trying to ch- achieve absolute evil because in doing that he like what he wanted to do was level the playing field and whatnot but then what's after that you know i don't think he ever had anything in mind what he wanted to do concretely since he started this whole hero hunt it was always just this childish thing of i want the villains or the monsters to uh take a dub once in a while but I don't think he had any ambition past that. So when he gets faced with Saitama, who's kind of like, who's not tra- treating him serious and kind of breaks his will, I think that's why he crumbled and ended up saying what he said. I think it's also to do with like the kind of heroes, like the kind of monsters he really appreciated. It was the ones who kind of seemed righteous and would give their all but would ultimately lose to the hero because he thought it was unfair. So maybe this is like how he wanted to go along because in his head he's like, he's that monster now. He's this monster who's worked really hard, he's given it his all, but he just can't beat the hero. So he wants to die like the monsters he appreciates. He wants to die like to a really powerful hero who's just going to be in Super Easy. Mm-hmm. mid to late 30s is when he showed up like actually like at the meeting at the hero association I mean, maybe. I mean, we know he hasn't, like, necessarily enjoyed his life. This is way lashing him out, but he's never, like, really had a chance to talk to someone about it. I mean, like, thinking about it, he's never really tried to talk to people about it either. But, like, that's what's kind of good about what Saitama's doing here. He's literally like, you got some hero issues. If you want to talk, I'm, I'm here to listen, you know? <laughs> we love that crow. That's scary as hell, man. Uh. 
I'll be I'll be shook as hell. Well, no, if I remember, he had to fight because they were actually going to start just, like, shooting. Death Cat was going to just start shooting the building and Tario was in there. It's so time I'm going to care if it's 10 words or more. So, do you think Gara is right and Saitama is this actual abominable fist against God? Like, that's like those two monsters, Sage and Natural Ocean, they were sent for Saitama, not Gara. Hello? Yo. Synchro might be dead.
Also, how how fucking great would it be if the next chapter Saitama shuts the curtains, so literally God can't watch. <laughs> Wait, it's just like, yeah, it's not even that. It's like, oh, it's a bit bright. Let me just shut that, and just God's like, damn it. <laughs> They're eggs or pickled onions, or I don't know, maybe. It's a crowd jar. Well, of course they're going to be in the jar like that. The whole city. Uh, true. Well, we well, where are we ranking Shawty, Elf Lady? Where are we ranking her? From just see, just seeing her top, right? You can't like. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Well, there's, there's more to. I mean, we need to see her. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. He got it. He got. He got a point. We. He's what he's trying to say is we got to see the assets. I know. That's important. But we've seen it. But we've seen it though. Yeah. What do you mean? There's adults giant psychos. I don't like that noise. Please don't like that noise again. Why'd you shudder? I ain't gonna lie. The elf ears don't do it for me. I don't like elf ears. Ugh. I'm just, I'm, I'm not a fan of Joe S. I mean, there's, I, I'm pretty sure there's like, I don't know if there's been one in this series. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to say it because that's going to like out me. So I'm not, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to go where I was about to go. Uh, I'm trying to think of one punch man. Has there been like a monster that I found attractive? Uh, not you. Oh, uh, Mycoplasma. But, but she uh, doesn't she just look human though? Yeah, I'm trying to. Uh, but she like clearly has monsters. Like you look at her, you're like yeah, that's a fucking monster, bro. <laughs> ah, can't do it, nah, man. I'm telling. I told you, it's the whites of her eyes being black that really that really creeps me out. I can't. I don't like it. I know. I just like no nah, man. It's probably somebody. I just can't think of them. No man. Hey, look. Best, Lion King, one of the best Disney films, right? Get James Earl Jones for season three of One Punch Man. We all want that. We all want that Beast King voice. That'd be incredible. <laughs> if it's just the rest of his regular voice actors and just James Earl Jones shows up. That'd be amazing. Maybe. Jeff, Jeff, 